All right, we're gonna see how far I can get out here. First thing is, I am kind of looking here in these shallows to see if I see any movement of fish. Uh, crappie will get back up real shallow. I have seen them not on this lake, but on other lakes. So shallow, their fins were sticking out of the water. They were up in brush like this, getting all up in here. You could see, see their fins sticking out of the water. You could almost reach down there and catch them. But I can almost smell them too. When they get in there thick like that, that the whole cove, believe it or not, will start to smell the crappie. You'll be able to smell them. Uh, this is a flat here that the water's come back up so far. I'm just not gonna be able to get out that far. Right there was something. But right here gives me enough room to, uh, to get out there a little bit. If there's any crappie out here coming in on this grassy area right out in here that's now submerged, so I think it was a couple of videos ago I pointed out this uh, vegetation on the bank that crappie liked. You can even see a big sprig of that grass right there that I pointed out. And now this is all underwater, so it's plenty deep enough for them to get in here and want to spawn. So I'm anxious to see if over the next week or two as we hit this full moon period, if they get back up in here a little bit. My problem is I'm not going to be able to get back up in here a little bit, but we're going to give it a shot. So uh, I'm going to start off with one of my little hand tie jigs that we tied up uh, last week or so. It's got a little orange kind of a head with a little green and a little bit of yellowish green, two different color feathers right there. So we're going to start off with it and uh, under a float we'll adjust our depth as we go. I got to watch these trees. Uh, we got some uh, float magnets up here above us so I'm going to have to whip it out there uh side armed uh otherwise i'm going to be uh looking at my float up there in them trees but being the uh, experienced angler that we are we're going to attempt to not let that happen we're just going to use it back here i have to get used to casting at side arms and can't really cast it that far, but that's all right. I just want to see this area that where my float is right now. Just a few short weeks ago, I was, you know, basically walking up and down the bank right there. And so, over the course of about three to four weeks, this water will go from uh, winter pool to full pool. I'm just hoping that the crappie haven't tried to spawn yet. I'm thinking they haven't because we've had quite a bit of cold cold weather here so far this spring and it maybe held them back a little bit. We got one right here. What do we got? We got a crappie? I think we do. Oh, it came off right there. Darn it, my camera. That aggravates the pee out of me, but that was looked like a big black male crappie, either a white or a black crappie, real dark. So he was in there trying to spawn really pretty close. That's a good sign. I thought I saw some activity down bank there that looked like something kind of messing around in that shallow water. So we got them in here a little bit, plenty of daylight left. We're in a good shady spot here, so it feels good here in this 83 degree weather today. Got the birds are chirping up here. We're on the crappie a little bit if we don't lose our battery. Got this one stupid battery that's malfunctioning on me. I'm going to order me up another camera, I think, and another battery or two or three. Bring it right back through here. That crappie wasn't out there very far. He was in that grass. He's in that grass right there, just like I said. There should be some more out there. He wasn't a real big one, but it was a crappie. 20 minutes later, and I've got it to record. We got a keeper right here, and I don't want to lose him. 
way we got him i think he might be big enough to keep i knew there was some crappie out there i just you just didn't about to give up hope that i was going to catch one but we got him let's see if we can get this thing measured up here and get him on a stringer right here in this shallow water folks look how dark he's getting right there that is a white crappie see them bars on him he's just getting dark this is he's getting his tuxedo on him right, folks, let's see what we got here he may not make yeah got the mouth closed right to the end and he's good 10 and a quarter so that's a perfect eating size. Check him out there next to them honeysuckle. Let's get him on a stringer right here. All right, we got our little hand tie jig right here. About, maybe about two feet underneath this little float. Kind of angling the bank right here. You can see this uh, area I was fishing in uh, last week is all covered up now. So that's kind of what we're targeting. Kind of up in that grassy area that's submerged now just to see if they're getting back up in there a little bit. We're gonna have a seat right here on this log. Nice little log. This looks like makes a nice little bench. Just gonna ease your back here real slow in this shallow water. Fishing about a foot and a half under this float really slow here. See if we can't get another one. Got one, got one. Number two here. Let's hope he's big enough to keep. He came up to the top of the water. I don't think he's going to be big. I don't know, though. He's going to be, yeah. He just came up to the top of the water. Barely got him hooked right there. I don't think he's going to be big enough. If he is, it'll be really close. Very close. Getting measured up here, let's see. Let's just pull over here. Down here, measure him up because one more on the stringer sure would be nice. Frisky little sucker, right here. Yeah, now he's he's way short right there. Should have known better. Usually, when you can lift them up like that, out of the water, there he goes. All right, well, we're still out here. We got a couple hours, a lot left. It's really slow out here. We've got a few fish out here today. Uh, we're a uh, situation we're in the water's just about to get back up to full pool so we barely got room to to get in here today but we've caught two crappie uh, three crappie actually one big enough to keep and two small ones uh, a couple other good bites uh, so they're out here a little bit coming up in this shallow water there's just not a whole lot of them in here right now. I think they're kind of scattered. I can't really get any one little spot pinpointed where they might be schooling up on a piece of cover. Just working this little hand-tied jig really slow. First one I caught was in really shallow water. He probably wasn't in over two feet of water. The other one's probably in about three feet, three and a half, four feet of water. But I do believe they are starting to move back in here into this shallow water. Now, over the next few weeks, we should have a little bit of a spawn going on here, I'm hoping. We got one. I hope that's a crappie. I don't know, though, if it's a 
crappie. It's a pretty big one. I don't think it's going to be a crappie. It might be, though. I don't know. Let's just wait and see here. I think it's a catfish, maybe. Like a little channel cat, maybe. Yeah, not a crappie. Yeah, a little channel cat. Yeah, we'll put him on a stringer with this other crappie. That'll give us a little something extra to eat right there. Perfect eating size. We'll put this little booger on the stringer right here next to our crappie. Yeah, that's a good little eater. A little eating size right there. Salvage my jig. Careful, don't lose him here. Alright. Well, that's a good little dinner right there. Okay. Well, we got one here. Feels like a good one right there, too. It's a crappie. Let's hope he's a keeper. Just getting him on across the water here. Yeah. He might be. Now, he's going to be small, I can tell. I'm not going to mosey over there to measure him. Turn him loose right here. Yeah, he's going to be a little small. But, hey, we've caught three or four or five today. They're in here a little bit. Got him on that little green curly tail. We get back out there, maybe we'll get a, one more keeper. We really need one more for that stringer. out there have me a seat right here on my log hey you're back really slow here so we got a few crappie in here today nothing real major but there's a few in here a few's better than none Hopefully they're just now starting to gather up here a little bit. Over the next few weeks, we might get on them out here a little bit. Turned out to be a pretty good day for the crappie, really. A uh, little bit of high clouds, partly cloudy. About 82 degrees. Water's back up. About a foot and a half below full pool now. He feels like he might be a keeper, maybe. Yeah, I think he might be a keeper. I don't know. Yeah, that's a keep. Yeah. Close. I'll measure him up. Cause I could use one more on the stringer, you know. Yeah. If I can get down yeah, here without falling. Oh, have you? Okay. Don't leave home without. Yeah. 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 An eight, yeah, that's almost too close for comfort, ain't it? I don't know. See, it's a little bit. As long as it's over, and that's a pure 10 inch too. I mean, I've measured it. Okay, well, I may keep him then. Yeah. I'm gonna put him right here so I don't have to go back down there <laughs> where my stringer is right there. I appreciate it. Now I got you all stinky nah, here. Nah, it won't matter. I'll just pull the ball. I don't care. I need to get me one of those. I just use a little ruler. Yeah, that, that right there, I troll a lot, and I'll have six rods, and you just get, I mean, that's so quick, just like yeah. that. Of course, most of them, you don't, you know, a lot of them, you don't have to even look, but something yeah. like that, I'll pop him in anyway. 